Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Slade. I'm actually bringing you guys the very first Wizard 101 video on the channel. I'm excited to announce the new Wizard playthrough that I'll be doing with one of my good friends and moderators over on Twitch, Sorox. We are calling this the Glacial Dunes playthrough, as you can see in the thumbnail, because I'll be playing Ice. We got Kane Iceweaver here, um, and Sorox will be playing his balance character. This playthrough actually came about because someone in my Twitch chat redeemed a channel point reward to start a new wizard. Um, and they chose Ice as the school for me to play. Shout out to Chaos on that one. Um, we will be streaming everything we do for the playthrough over on Twitch um, on both of our channels. Um, they're going to be linked in the description and here up on the screen too. And these will be every Friday and Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are also going to be uploading all the VODs back to YouTube. So if you guys miss an episode or just want to rewatch something we did, you can always find it there. Lastly, before I get into the rules, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Farrick because he is currently doing a solo ice budget walkthrough and has done others in the past. He is the inspiration for some of the rules we have for our playthrough. Anyway, let's get started on the rules. Number one, we will be doing all fights and dungeons before getting help from anyone to farm for gear. For example, dungeons like Waterworks and Darkmoor, we need to actually duo and complete the fight and the bosses before we can get help from anyone in chat like that to actually farm for the gear. We will also be waiting to do all the fights and stuff before we transfer gear over from other characters. For example, like Merciless and Aeon gear, we have to actually complete those bosses before we transfer any gear over from our other characters that we might have gotten it dropped on already. Number two, we have no crown, bundle, or pack gear. The only crowns that we'll be using during the playthrough are gonna be used to stitch gear. So no pack gear, no professor boots, um, nothing like that will be used at all. This is going to be a pretty much crownless playthrough um, just, you know, to give a experience for people who want to, you know, don't have the budget to actually, you know, spend a bunch of money on the game and stuff. So hopefully that'll help out with that. Rule number three, we can craft gear on our max characters and transfer it over. For example, this gear being the Winter Tusk crafted gear and Dragoon gear, but we have to actually farm for the reagents on our playthrough characters. So I can't just go get reagents from my shared bank or anything like that. I have to actually farm for any reagent that I need on my ice character. Sorax has to do the same on his balance character. Um, and also, side note, yes, we do plan on getting Dragoon gear just to uh, you know show you guys that the process can be done. Um, but yeah, just because no one wants to have to do those crafting quests over again, since we already have a max character, we're gonna use that. But we're gonna go through the process of getting the reagents just to make it a little bit, you know, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more for the playthrough. One other thing I want to briefly mention is that Sorox and I have already made pets for the playthrough. Um, this is the only head start or upper hand that we're going to be getting. We won't be getting any gold or TCs or anything along those lines from, from our other characters. Okay, so the pet that I have made here is this um, Ice Glowbug pet. It is a Quint Damage pet. Um, I'm going to be socketing a jewel on it when I'm actually level 15 and able to socket the jewel. But as you can see, it actually gets um, two cards. It's going to give a Gargantuan card, which is going to be very good. And it's going to give that uh, Mass Ice Trap card. Um, since, you know, Ice doesn't get a blade until level 38 for some reason, um, this Mass Ice Trap is going to be really helpful for, you know, just putting a uh, you know buff for me on all the enemies. Um, and then the Gargantuan is going to help me do a lot more damage since, you know, Ice doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, we made these pets uh, prior to starting the playthrough just... Just you know, just to have because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be good. And if you have a max level character already, um, it's just good to make a pet before starting a playthrough. Um, you know that's just a that's just probably like you know a general rule of thumb and whiz too. So we went ahead and did that and took care of that. But that is pretty much all I uh, want to cover for this playthrough. So um, I just want to say that I am super excited about this because I haven't quested through whiz in such a long time. So it's gonna be a breath of nostalgia for me. And just really cool to be alongside Sorox and you guys in chat for the journey. Lastly, everything you need to know is linked in the description, such as both of our Twitch channels, Sorox's YouTube, and my Discord. Um, so if you guys would mind, you know, go and follow them, following those, subscribing to Sorox's YouTube, and also joining the Discord if you would like. Um, make sure you also drop a like on the video, subscribe, and comment if you're excited about the Glacial Dunes playthrough. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.